Hello, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK. Welcome to my channel. First time you're passing through. I talk about a lot of different things. Talk about immigration. I think I talk about deportation. I thought talk about matters where people have been treated unjustly and unfairly, where there's bias, where there's racism, literally anything, to be honest. Um, today, I wanted to talk about the tragedy of Errol Graham, 57 year old, I think he's Jamaican descent, um, died of starvation in the UK. Now you wouldn't think that somebody could actually die of starvation, would you? You'd think that there must be some way where they can get food, they must have family, they must have someone to help them out. You know, but that's not the case. Well, it wasn't the case in this situation. The background seems to be that he was a claimant from DWP. And for those of you outside the country, DWP is like welfare. Uh, um, Errol, Gray, sorry, Errol Graham was disabled. He also had mental issues and he applied for um, universal credit. One of the stipulations uh, with applying for this universal credit is that you attend all of their sessions. They'll text you or write you and invite you to assessments and stuff like that. If you don't turn up, they don't try to find out why you haven't shown up. They just stop your benefits. They claim that they do. They claim that they call. They claim that they do this. They claim that they do that. But they don't. A lot of them, they take it for granted. They assume that everybody has somebody who they can fall back on. So it lifts the um, responsibility on them. It's almost like they test DWP claimants to see whether or not they're really alone, to see whether or not they really don't have any money. And then whoops, when people commit suicide, whoops, when people die of starvation, then they're like, oh, you know, we made a mistake. He didn't show up for one of his appointments. He didn't respond to one of our texts. The thing is, is that, we, like I said, Jamaicans is one of their downfall, their pride. Their family is now, his family is now taking out legal action against DWP. Was his family informed? No, he probably didn't tell them. He was probably embarrassed. I don't know. I don't know what the background of the family is. But if you are in need of help, you need to call your family. You must have, well, not you must have, but brothers and sisters, even if they can't help you, they need to know your situation so that they can you know, gather together. They can must come pull together. If you've got brothers, sisters, aunts and uncles or adult children, you must they must be able to pull together to help you out in a difficult situation. But this man actually starved to death. You know how they found him? They found him when they sent the bailiffs to evict him. He was dead. They sent the bailiffs to evict him because he hadn't he hadn't paid his rent and he hadn't been showing up for these appointments and found a 62 pound corpse, 28 kilograms, emaciated on the floor. Two tins of out of date fish in the larder and nothing else. Now, would you believe that in a Western country, in a so-called civilised country, that could happen to anyone. And like I said, I strongly believe the DWP do not believe half of the claimants. I don't think they believe the claimants are as desperate as they say they are. They don't even test them to see whether or not they can read their stupid texts. They take it for granted. They, they measure everybody as themselves. They don't take into consideration people who are illiterate. They don't take into consideration people who are unable to express themselves. No, they don't. 
as far as they're concerned, you've got by so long, you must have got by this long doing something, working out some way. So how, how come at this point of your life, you're coming to see us and you're claiming you don't know how to do this and you don't know how to do that? How have you been getting on all these years? That is their mentality. So, Errol Graham, 57 year old, dies of starvation. I don't even know how people die of starvation and it's not deliberate. I don't even know how that is done. Apparently no gas, no electricity, place cold. Can you imagine the desperation? Apparently he wrote to them and explained his circumstances. And they're saying, oh, they made a mistake. Um, they shouldn't. I don't think, you know, as long as people come to DWP for help, they've got no right to stop all benefits. No right whatsoever. That is your basic need. If you want to take off a bit for, you know, all these extra bits, if you want to do that, fine. But give them enough so that they can bloody eat. How can you stop 100% of their benefits just because they haven't shown up at an appointment and you don't know why they haven't shown up? They could be bloody sick or in hospital. And then, then they have the audacity to say, oh, well, if they're in hospital, they should call or they should contact. You know how hard it is to get through to those bloody offices. And when you're in hospital, most of our phones, I know my phone, I don't have premium number on my, on my mobile. I can't afford to pay for premium numbers. Most of those numbers on the, on to get into DWP or the tax office, they're all bloody premium numbers. How the hell, if you don't have a job or you don't have money, are you supposed to call these numbers? And then you're left on, it's not like you have somebody to pick up the phone straight away. You can't even get through to anyone. There's no people. It's all bloody machines. And it's machines that are calculating whether or not they deem you eligible to get benefits. How tragic. 57-year-old of a man starved to death in his flat. The two tins, two out-of-date tins of fish. Wouldn't even surprise me if it was the little sardine then. That you get for 59p. I'm sure it wasn't the large tin of pilchards or a large tin of mackerel. I think it is abominable that DWP or Universal Credit is treating. I think there's a host, I don't know how many people have died. I'm going to put the link in because I know I saved it. I hope I saved it. Of how many people have died since this universal credit has been introduced. How can you leave machines to make decisions about people? How inhumane is that? But that's what's happened. And in the case of Errol Brown, may he rest in eternal peace. That's what's happened. I don't think I've got anything else to say. Bye-bye.